Hello everyone, and welcome to the Askelonian Catacombs Path 3 Dungeon Guide. This isn't a speedrunning guide, it's simply a guide to help out the newer players that are just doing the path for the first time. So, like every other path, head through the doors and just kill off the first Graveling. There's nothing too special about that fight, and then head through the camp. Grab a repair if your armor needs it, head down the stairs, making sure to leave one player behind to activate the next cutscene. The bottom of the stairs, stay left to avoid traps or jump over them, and then jump on the ledge and start killing cargoils. Skip the cutscene and choose your path. Once these first two gargoyle heads are dead, we like to jump down and go into the corner by the rubble and just finish off all the little spiders. And somebody did pop Spider Queen early. There's four level one spiders. Two of them are up above on the small elevated area. And when they all die, the Spider Queen will spawn. So we just continue to kill off the little spiders and then get on her. You want to watch out for her spit, which is creates the big red circles. And then you also want to watch out for her web, which will immobilize you if you stay in it. If she gets you with both of them, you're probably going down. Beyond those two moves to watch out for, there's nothing too special about her. Once she's down, we finish off this last Garrel ahead so we don't have to deal with it while we're doing the Gravelings. For the Gravelings, stack in the corner by the door. One person pull them. If everybody's in the door, you won't have any issues. When everybody's properly in the door, all the Gravelings group up and you DPS them all down at the same time. Stability and retaliation are very helpful here too. Head through the traps and pull the chain. And then head to the left and up the stairs and stack on color. If you've watched the other videos, you've seen this part three or four times now, so there's nothing very different no matter what your group comp is. If you've got an alley, stack might or anybody who can produce a fire build. And then if you've got a guardian, get some stability and retaliation. And then just DPS him down, watch out for his charge up to his pole, and then his spin. Path 3 is probably the easiest to complete the quickest for newer groups. So after Color is dead, head to the east and through the tunnel into the lover's room. Ignore me messing around with stealth out here. Just run past the mobs and you should be fine. And then head into the back corner of the room just to make sure all aggro is dropped. There are 15 total burrows to kill off in this area. They are on a set spawn rate, which I'm not sure what it is, but normally you end up killing all of them at about 90% and then you're stuck waiting around for the last 10% to finish. The burrows almost always spawn opposite of each other. So if you get one in one spot, it's a, just run directly opposite it in the room and you should be at the next one. And then after that, you're stuck waiting around for your chest while Mags finishes collecting what he needs. I recommend taking a nap during this extra time. Once your chest finally spawns, you can just pick it up and... Head upstairs into the next room. Run completely through the room with all the spiders. Head up the stairs at the other side. I like to go this path. And then you'll be in the area where you collect scepters scepter pieces in path one. Once you get close enough to grasp, this part of the event starts and you've got four burrows to DPS down here. Just focus on the burrows, ignore the gravelings. As soon as each one goes down, head to the next one. 
If you've got stability, use it when you're in the middle of the burrow. I like to use my blinds. Once the final burrow goes down, collect your chest and then waypoint to the new waypoint. Or you can wait for the doors to open, but that's a little bit longer. Through the waypoint, head into the depression and wait for the wall to break down. Once the wall falls, you start running, head through the middle path, skipping the gravelings, and then take a hard right and go straight into the cubby hole. You, you may have to wait at the cubby hole for 30 seconds or so for grass to show up. You need him for this fight. Most groups will target him as soon as he shows up so that you know you're ready to start. I like to wait for the boss to get into the middle portion of the map and then everybody jumps in on him and just basically DPS him down. He does hit harder than the other bosses and he can knock back with each hit so stability your blocks and the big thing to watch out for is he will cause the roof to fall down which is why you need grass because he creates a safe area. So the main important thing is to stay near rest so that you aren't knocked down and killed instantly by the falling roof. Other than that, you should be okay. Once he's down, skip the cutscene. Collect your bonus chest and your reward. And that's it for this run. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in running any of the other paths, I have videos up on them as well. You can click any of the links on the screen now.